At this point, I'd like to try and synchronize all of the references I have. I'd like to be able to reach these references anywhere from any internet browser. And maybe I'd like to also have all of these references on another computer. If I'm at work, maybe I'd like to also have all my references on my home computer or on my traveling computer. A lot of people have a desktop computer and a laptop. You'd like all your references on both of them. And EndNote can do that. It can synchronize the references and the custom groups, the ones that have a blue folder icon. Between computers with EndNote X7, it can also synchronize the group sets, but the group sets will not show up in EndNote Online because EndNote Online doesn't have the ability to show them yet. But the data will be there, so when you synchronize your references to a second desktop computer, your group sets will be arranged like they are in the original library with the groups underneath them and all of the references. The smart groups and the combined groups will not be synchronized. So now let me set up an EndNote online library and sync to it. To sync, I click on the blue sync button in the toolbar. If I already have an EndNote online account, formerly called EndNote Web, or if I have a Web of Knowledge account, a profile in the Web of Knowledge, where I can set up things like instant alerts and have it send me updates automatically, things like that, I would put in the email address and password I used for that. But to create a new one, I click on the sign up button. Enter the email address, click on submit. And I have to fill in every field with an asterisk by it. Every field with an asterisk. And when I create my password, it has to be at least eight characters with no spaces. And it has to have at least a number, a special character, and one alphabetical change in character or case. So I've got to have at least one capitalized character. Use an email address that you're actually going to get your email at. It's going to become your EndNote online account, and if you forget your password, that's the address that the password will be sent to, or the password reset information will be sent to. And of course you must agree to the licensing agreement. So I'm going to click on I agree, and the registration's complete, and now I click on Sync. The first thing it's going to say is, hey, before you do it the first time, we recommend you create a compressed library backup. Do that. You really want a backup in case there are problems. So I'm going to say, yes, I want to create one now. It will create it in my Documents folder by default, and it will have the name as my, of my original library and a .enlx extension. Click on Save. And now it's starting to synchronize the references. And if you were using EndNote X6, there would be a big screen bar in the screen, kind of in the middle of it. And you couldn't do anything else while it was syncing. Now, in the bottom right corner, there's a little green bar. And I can do other things while it's syncing. I don't have to stop everything. So we're syncing, and when it gets done, I'm going to be able to see all of those custom groups and all of those references, all the references in my library, plus their attachments in EndNote Online. So how about if I get ready to log into EndNote Online with that same logon? To do that, I go to my.endnote.com. At myendnote.com, you're going to have to log in. And I see that I have all the groups 
and all of the references that I had back in EndNote on the desktop. If I click on a group, I can see the references in that group. And notice that for groups that have the Web of Knowledge, I'm logged into the Web of Knowledge as well. I was logged in earlier. I've logged in again. And I have links to the source record, the related records, and the time cited information. Now, these are not separate fields. These are links, so they're constantly being updated, but you can't just download the time cited information. It's not going to show up as a field in EndNote because it's not a field. It's a link to the latest information. But no group sets and no smart groups show up here. The group set information is stored here so that if I sync to a second desktop computer, it would show up there. Let's go back to EndNote. But before we do, I'm going to empty the trash here. I have the one item in the trash from EndNote. I empty it, and then we'll go back to EndNote. And in EndNote, let's just update. Now, it's going to automatically update on a regular basis, but I just rushed it by clicking on the Sync button, and notice my trash has been emptied. This is important. Any change I make to any of my references, either on the desktop or online, will be made everywhere. Any change. If I delete references online, they will all be deleted in my desktop library as well because I'm synchronizing the two. It's synchronizing all of the references and any changes made to those references and the custom groups. So be very careful. Don't go up to EndNote Web and say, oh, I'm going to get rid of all these and start over again. Don't do that. After you've synced the first time, any change you make anywhere is made everywhere. And it's going to automatically sync as I keep making changes to this library. Things will kept, be kept updated. 